three, two, one. Hello and welcome to a beautiful day here in the Fjord Grand Prix where we are joined by four racers, the two teammates from the Panipui team, Doppelganger and Matrix Group, and one driver from the LeBron James team, Tipsy, and one driver from Alexa, Dylan. First up, two qualifying here in Fjord will be Matrix Group. And there it is, Matrix Shoop coming up to the steps. Four. I know, I'm recording. I know, I'm recording. Okay. Perfect timing, Dylan. Perfect timing. Okay. Dylan, we have 10 minutes left, Dylan. Quick. What? I I'm still using it. And here I it is. Right now. I know. I was just about to do it until you started talking. Come on, guys. And this. Yeah. And here it is. It's. And here it is. Matrix should coming up for his qualifying. Give me a nod if you're ready. It's going to be three, two, one. Off he goes down the down the turns for his qualifying, r going very close to the wall there in the in the second turn of your here coming down the crab straight before the chicane which used to be the triple chicane but now it's just a normal one as he comes down towards the bike straight rounding it off near the end and he finishes it with a 25 54 with pole position for now next will be tipsy here it is tipsy Readying up for his qualifying. Give me a nod if you're ready. It is going to be three, two, one. A little jump start for him, but off he goes down the turns. Really, really smooth so far. Very smooth right hander before the crab straight here as the sun goes down a bit. He's coming towards the chicane and the bite straight as we see him come towards the last two turns really quick so far and he finishes it with a 25-52 getting pole position no. by 0 0.02 seconds. Up next will be Doppelganger. There it is, so Dope, Doppelganger up on the stands. Give me a nod if you're ready. It's going to be 3, 2, 1. Down he goes for his qualifying. Let's see if he can beat his teammate's time or possibly Tipsy's time for the pole position. He's really quick right now. So far, so good, except for that hit down in the turn one. Uh, down in turn one. Here he is coming up towards the sh uh, chicane and bite straight. He so far has good pace. He does have a chance to beat Tipsy. Let's see as he rounds it off near the end with a 26-79. Puts him in sixth place. But next will be third place. Dylan. Oh, third place. Yeah, my bad. Here it is. Dylan and the Alexa team. Give me a nod if you're ready. It is going to be... Three, two, one. Down he goes for his qualifying. Really shaky start there as he hasn't got much practice on this track. But he goes down the turns. Another shaky hit that might cost him some time as he comes round the bite, uh, the crab straight towards the chicane as he nears the bite straight. Here he is. Really, really good so far with the pace. As he's a little shaky down in, uh, down there, coming up towards the last turn, and he finishes it 30 64, putting him in last place. Everybody line up for the uh, race as the qualifying goes. Tipsy P1, Matrix U P2, Doppelganger P3, P4 is Dylan. And pick your pits, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I, thought, I thought we were doing pink boats. Oh yeah, my bad. Elect. Can't believe you'll break it. Like a peanut ice for the wrong boat color. 
No, but. Yep. Good. No, Dylan, Dylan. That's uh, that's five, fifth. It's okay, Dylan. It's okay. I right, just yeah, jump out your boat. You can't count even the beat. One, two, twenty. Yeah, actually, I'm dyslexia. So. Uh, anyways, here it is. Layla, uh, Layla, shush, skit. You shush, skit. And here it is. Hello and welcome to a beautiful day here in the Fjord Grand Prix. But after an amazing qualifying, we got Tipsy in P1, P2 Matrix Shoe with his teammate Dopaganga behind him, and P4 is Dylan. Everybody, give me a nod if you're ready. It is 23 laps around this uh, track. Pit, uh, pit twice. Uh, it's going to be three, two, one. Lights out in the Fjord Grand Prix. Matrix Shoe gets a good start. Goes ahead of Tipsy. Tipsy struggling right now. Matrix Shoe's teammate Dopagan goes ahead in P2 as Tipsy gets pushed down in the second turn of the race. Here it's Dylan who also pushes himself up to P3 with a good chance of points. This race is Matrix Shoe leading the race with his teammate in P2 as they start lap 2 of 23 Dylan right behind them Tipsy prowling for that P3 position let's see Tipsy he's got the pace Un uh, unlike the inexperienced Dylan here Dylan's under big pressure Tipsy really quick right now now let's see what he can do with the uh, with Oh, Dopaganga messes up. He's down in P3 as he fights with Tipsy and holds his position as his own teammate starts lap 3 of 23. Dylan up to second place after a big mistake from Dopaganga who also gets overtaken by Tipsy. Tipsy didn't get the best start but is climbing back up. Now Dylan also messes up. Tipsy just hits the back of him as Dopaganga gains a lot of distance between him. Uh, both of them now tipsy has some rumors of leaving the LeBron James team uh, after some big tension with his teammate same with the Pani Pui team now it's Dylan under big pressure from uh, from the the from the LeBron James driver here as they rounded off nearing Crab Straight now Dopaganger not far behind watching the scenes unfold uh, ahead of him Let's see this as Matrix Shoe will start lap 5 soon of 23 and soon there he is oh no he's already started it uh, Dylan in P2 so far and there it is lap 5 for all of them meaning pit wall has come down as Matrix Shoe should be rounding this corner anytime soon down the straight there he is down the bike straight with a massive lead now he does he does there is some rumors of him leaving the Pani Pui team after some controversy between him and his teammate after his teammate supposedly wanted him to perform even more as Dylan dives into the pits early pits for him in lap uh, 6 of 23 he goes out in P4 with Major Troop coming up very close as Major Troop starts lap 7 of 23 here very good racing from all of them let's see this fight for P2 uh, Tipsy gains back uh, gains P2 with Doppelganger behind him starting lap 7 with Doppelganger what? oh Dylan oh uh, render distance and there it is it's so far all of them very split apart now back to the question with the Pani Pui teammates uh, according to a few sources Doppelganger was criticizing his own teammate for not performing which is uh, slightly sad but according to some rumors um, he will be moving possibly with Tipsy Swagger as Tipsy might be kicked out out of the LeBron James team by his teammate uh, Joshua Williams now Josh's reasons as to why uh, he wants that to happen is because he finds it a little too easy which is kind of weird as you want to win but I guess so as there it is tipsy into the pits oh three second penalty as he goes into the wrong one one two three out you go nice good fair one as he comes out in p3 with possibly Dylan real close to him now let's see this Oh, pitted his second pit here. 
As Dylan comes out pretty well. So rain! Rain! <laughs> Doppelganger straight into the pits in P2. Pretty smooth uh, pit there. Uh, tipsy as well with Matrix Troop in P1 who's been leading with a big lead comes in very smooth fit yeah and there it is the Matrix Troop out of the pit as Dylan comes towards his pit as well oh almost he overshoots it a bit but keeps it going there it is um, Doppelganger in P2 uh, Tipsy in P3 and Matrix Troop in P1. Anybody know the laps? Lap 12. Lap 12 <laughs> of 23. 11 laps to go. Very good for all of them as Matrix Troop starts lap 13. And it's so far. So big the gap. For... Oh! Dylan did get overtaken. Oh! Just gets lapped by Tipsy sadly. So he's a lap down from everybody. As Tipsy is trying to catch up to P2. As they did start lap 13 there. Matrix Troop soon to start. There it is. Lap 14. Of 23. Nine laps to go. Amazing races and fights so far. As Doppelganger holds his second place. With a bit of pressure from uh, from Tipsy behind them. Dylan in P4. A lap down. And Matrix Troop. Now let's get a view from the other side here. As we haven't had one since... There it is. It's the two drivers. Ooh, a little nick. Ooh, it might be a fight. Down the, the chicane. Ooh, but Doppelganger uh, holds his position and defends it with a lot of um, skills there. He did mess up and almost got overtaken. But, did, uh, but he did uh, keep it as they are on lap 15 now. Matrix should soon to lap... Yeah. Soon to start lap 16, which means there, there it is, Dylan with Matrix Troop and Matrix Troop on lap 16. Seven laps to go, <laughs> and here it is. Let's see the fight for P2, both of them on lap 16. As Matrix Troop and Dylan cross the line. Matrix Troop starting lap 17. There it is. Amazing racing from for now. Big pressure for P2. Now Tipsy has said that it is kind of sad for him to be racing the last few races in LeBron James' team. But lasting two seasons with them isn't a, a bad feat. As Joshua Williams gone three seasons with them. Uh, two seasons, uh, but soon to be three. As there it is, it's it's um, what is it? Matrix Troop overtaking Dylan, and Dylan close to be overtaken by Tipsy and Doppelganger. And there it is, Matrix Troop coming up for his second pit. Now let's see how much time P2 catches up as he comes up pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure his teammate has already done two pits. And Tipsy as well. So everybody has done two pits, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And there it is. It's currently still Matrix Troop in P1. However, Doppelganger real close to him. His own teammate. Now, it was smart to pit a little later as the, the gap he gained keeps him with a big gap between him and doppelganger so it was a bigger gap however it's still a wild way a uh, big gap before doppelganger can catch up give me a what's the lap uh, 19 lap 19 of 23 four laps to go no more vscs uh this might be the only race in fm1 so far to not have vscs and there it is Dop uh, make sure starting lap 20 with his teammate right behind him. Three laps to go. It's big pressure from Doppelganger. Will he allow his teammate to win this race or will he try to catch up? When will he push? Uh, well, when will he put uh, his pedal down and try and uh, catch up to his teammate? Let's see this as they will start lap 21 of uh, 23. Two laps to go. So far, it's Matrix Shoot domination with his teammate. 
right behind him. It's so far, Tipsy Matswagger seeing the events unfold for the Panipui team to win uh, the Fjord Grand Prix unless a big incident happens. And there it is, they start lap 22 of 23. One lap to go, next lap is last lap. Now when will Tipsy try and make his move? Oh, he gets a little stuck, meaning he loses some time. But it's soon to be the last lap of the race. There it is, Major Shub down the bike straight. Doppelganger right behind him hasn't caught up much since as Matrix Shub starts the last lap of the race is the guy who hasn't been performing from the last uh, from the start of the season who has been criticized by his own teammate and also um, was and also found to be slightly unlucky all of the season here it is Matrix Shub Winning the Fjord Grand Prix after many yeah! races, not winning any. And there is his teammate finishing P2, yes, Tipsy fin go. finishing P3, and Dylan rounding it off, coming it out. Dylan finishing it, P4. Funny Pui 1 2 in the last, uh, second last. Day. Lap, uh, right second there. last of the race there. Now, let's see how much they gained. Oh Championship score. Let's see, Tipsy gained one point, so 25. The beat gained two points, 12. Arnav's up to 10 points. And for the Panipui, they gained five points. With the one, two. Thank you, thank you. That's twenty. That's twenty-two points. Uh, five. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Pani Pui one two right there. <laughs> finally, after after all the times, <laughs> without one two, Arna finally got a win. Uh, any interviews? Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We sure. need a, We need an interview for a Pani Pui one two right there. Yeah. And here After it is, interview, go. us interviewing P1 finisher Matrix Shub. Matrix Shub, congratulations on the win. Amazing performance Thank from you. you. Now, the last time you won a race was possibly back in Monaco, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it was. Oh my God. Amazing performance from you. How, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so many emotions. Like, this has been such a tough season. And uh, actually, no, my last race win was in Nagimara, if that counts as it. Race. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, that this was a long time coming. Uh, it's been a tough season for me, but uh, to finally win a race after such a long time, mm -hmm. it's really good. But it is kind of bittersweet because the rumors may or may not be true. But uh, so it, it, it's gonna be a race. I'll definitely remember. Well, congratulations on P1. Good luck in the fin uh, uh, closing race of the season next uh, next race. Uh, we're going to interview your teammate now. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Here After we are. Go. See you enough. Yeah. Interviewing P2 finisher, Doppelganger. How are you feeling right now? A 1-2 in the Panipui team. I am very happy, actually. Uh, the first 1-2 uh, Panipui has ever gotten, I think. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm very happy of Arnold's progression. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, talking about that, <laughs> talking about that, um, was it? We did see. Um, was it talking about that? We have heard some rumors that Matrix Shu might leave Panipuri. Uh, any any thoughts? Um. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, uh, it's how can I say this? Um, him leaving for another team is kind of um, kind of sad and uh, and, uh, and good at the same time because uh, it's good that he's giving us a farewell gift before he's gonna go for another team or he's gonna mm -hmm. go team up with another teammate. Mm -hmm. And he's proving himself that he deserves to um, you know mm -hmm. 
to be in the top in the top ranking. So I'm very happy about that, and I'm hoping him well for the, for next season if he's mm -hmm. in another team. And I'm hoping him that he's gonna um, improve himself and he's gonna uh, do more well in the next season. Well, congratulations on P2. Good luck in the next race. We're gonna interview P3 finisher Tipsy now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And here we are interviewing P3 finisher Tipsy. Uh, congratulations on P3. Um, now, we have heard that you are slightly sad about leaving LeBron James. Uh, any comments? Yeah, I'm very sad, but time has to move on. Teams have to move on. People have to leave. And just hope we still go really good next season. Now, talk about you leaving. <laughs> Is there anybody you have your eyes on with as a next teammate? No comment. Oh. Uh, well, talk about a new team. Uh, talk about leaving a team. Are you gonna make a new team? Uh, for yourself. Oh, and if so, what would the name be? Kachal lovers. Oh. Fair enough. Well, um, congratulations on P three. We gotta move on to P four finisher. Um, uh, wait. Actually, one more question. Um, with the last race coming up. Are you hoping it's a little better from the performance today? Honestly, um, at this point, I know I've won. But I do want to come first for my last race for LeBron James. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I hope I have a better performance next race. Well, congratulations on P3. Good luck in the next race. We're going to move on to P4 finish Adela now. Thank you. I'm going to go now, by the way. See ya, Freddy. See ya. See ya, Freddy. Oh wait, we can't hear Dylan. Frick, uh, Dylan, you could go. Do you think you could go to settings and allow your voice to be recorded? Because all the other recordings when we interview you, um, yeah, because it's not in the recording, because you didn't allow. So just go to like PS settings, audio, something like that, and just allow your voice to be recorded. Booty one two right there. Okay, <laughs> mm. <laughs> about another time. Well, anyways, here we are interviewing P4 finisher Dylan. How was that race for you? <laughs> well, um, we have the last race coming up and new season starting. Are you excited for that? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> well, congratulations on P4. Good luck in the next race. Thank you. Dylan was leading for P1. P P2 or P3. 